Hi everybody, this is Christina from Brush and Bristle Studio. I'm going to show you today how to use the 11 ounce mug Smart Object Mockup. Um, to start, you're going to want to go ahead and open this in Photoshop or in Photopea. The first part of this tutorial, I'm going to go over how to use it in Photoshop, and then the second part, I'm going to show you how to use it in Photopea. They're both very similar programs, but Photopea is a web-based software that is free to use. Um, and we'll get more to that in the second half. So once you have it open in Photoshop, you are going to find these red tabbed layers. Um, as you see, they've got smart objects attached. Um, if you double click this thumbnail right here, it'll open up a new document. And from here, you're gonna navigate to whatever file you need. So go to file open and go over, go wherever. Um, I have my file already open. So I'm going to do control A and control C to select all until, and you'll see like these little marching ants around the border of the canvas when you do that. And then control C is going to copy that selection. Now, if you go back to the tab that has the smart object document, You'll do control V or you can go up to edit and do control paste. Um, now, if this is sized at nine and a half by 3.8, if your file isn't that size, it's not a big deal. Um, what you can do is hit control and T or you can go to edit, free transform, and you'll see these little anchor points all around your document. You'll just drag on one of them and put it wherever you need it until it's the size of the canvas. Once you have that, you'll hit this little check mark up here or you can hit the enter button. Um, and then you'll see this little asterisk right here that shows that the document's not saved. So we're going to hit control S or you can go up to file and it would have said save right there. <laughs> um, and then you can go back over to your main file and you'll see your mockup is now updated. Um, this is a one click change smart object file. So if you change one, it changes all of them at once. Um, it's just a way to help speed up the workflow and make it go super quick for you. <laughs> um, now, you've got a couple options to make it more your own and get it how you want it to look. So one thing that I heard a lot of feedback from, from customers in the past was that they wanted darker shadows and brighter highlights. So I tried to include that on this for you guys. So if you go up here, you'll see extra highlight slash shadow. It's just a little layer group right here and you see you toggle it on and off and it'll darken up the shadows and lighten up those highlights. Um, you can make them even more intense. If you open up that group, you can double click on the icon and it pulls up the settings. So you can just drag and drop wherever, just play with it, get it however you want. Um, I try not to get too crazy with it because I didn't want to alter the, the colors of the design. Um, but you can do that. You can also go over here to the glossy overcoat, highlights, and shadows. And I don't suggest messing with the blending options over here, but you can mess with like the opacity and the fill. Um, the fill is already set to max at 100%, but you can always change the opacity. Um, you see, if you do that, it just makes it lighter <laughs> or brighter. Um, and once you have those, I've also got colored handles set up. So if you toggle the visibility on this, you can double click this palette icon right here, and it'll open up your um, color panel make sure that the colorize is checked. If it's not, you won't see the color. <laughs> um, but once it's checked, you can see it and you can 
move the color around. You can make it, you know, less saturated, more saturated, lighter, darker, whatever you need to do to get the color that you need. I'm going to hide that visibility and close that. We've got our bottom shadows here. Um, they're all merged together, but I've got it to where you can move it. Like if you want to take it down a little bit or move it back up some, you can totally do that. Um, you can also mess with the opacity and the fill on this to make it darker or lighter. Um, whatever your preferences are. Now, this also comes with eight different backgrounds for you to use. Um, the white shimmer background right here, I've attached a color option to. So again, if you double click that, it'll come up with color options and you can move it around, turn it whatever color that you need. Um, just trying to give you guys as much flexibility as possible to really make this as much your mock-up as you can. Um, so this is all for Photoshop. It's super easy to use, super quick. Um, I'll take a quick second and I'll get back to you with Photopea in a moment. All right, everybody. So if you open up a web browser on your PC or on any smart device, you can go to photopea.com. This is a free web-based software that is very similar to Photoshop. It has a lot of the same tools. Um, if you were to try to use my mockups in Affinity or, I mean, goodness, so, so many other different art programs, they're not going to have all the same tools as Photoshop. Um, one really important tool that I use in making my mockups is a warp. And that is not available in a lot of these art programs. But Photopea actually does have that. So I highly recommend if you do not have Photoshop and you're trying to find another um, program to use, to be able to use these, check out Photopea. It's, it's pretty easy. And you'll see in just a second just how easy it is. So once you go here to Photopea, go to Open from Computer. And just go to the Photoshop file that you need. You open it up. And there you are. You've still got the same color tabs on those layers that you want to click on. So, and you're still going to double click on the smart object. And it'll open it up. The only difference here... Um, that makes it a little bit easier is you're going to go up to file, open and place and you navigate to the file that you want to use. And it did the copying and pasting for you. So you don't have to deal with it at all. So, and you don't even have to do the free transform option because it already has the, um, anchor points on here for you so you can easily resize. So once you are happy with the sizing of it, you'll hit the check mark up here. And again, it's got the asterisk, so that means you need to save it. So you can hit either control S or you can go up here and hit save smart object. And it tells you it's updated the smart object. You can go back to the main file and there it is, fully updated. Now, just like in Photoshop, just mess with the file. You can toggle those um, extra highlights. You can come over to the glossy overcoat and the highlights, change the opacity. Um, you can come over here to the handles and change the color of those. Just double click the icon again and just move stuff around however you need it. Um, it's very, very similar to Photoshop. And again, it's free. <laughs> I, I love using it because I can use it on the go. Um, if I'm ever out of town, I just have my iPad with me and I can just pull it out right there. So good. So 
this is really all there is to Photopea. It's so similar to Photoshop, and I try very hard to make this as easy as possible for you guys. But if you guys have any questions or if any recommendations for any changes or anything, please feel free to shoot me a message. I'm more than happy to help. Um, but I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial and that it's helped you figure out how to use this. Um, have a great day.